I am Anil Kumar and now we will learn strategies to solve problems relating to optimization. I have taken up five questions here where we have optimization questions based on numbers. Question number one is the sum of two positive numbers is 12 if the product of one number by the cube of the other is to be maximum find the numbers. The answers are 3 and 5. These are your practice questions to get started. Question number 2 is express 18 as sum of two positive numbers where product of first by the square of the other is as large as possible. The answer is 6 and 12. Question number 3 is find two positive numbers with a product 200 such that the sum of one number and twice the second number is as small as possible. 10 and 20 is the answer. Sum of a positive number and its reciprocal is a minimum. What is the number? The answer is 1. Question number 5 is, the sum of two numbers is k. Show that the sum of their squares is at least 0.5 k square. So these are five questions for you to practice. You can pause the video, copy the questions, solve them. I will provide solution of two of them at length so that you understand the complete method. So I'll do these two questions uh, separately, right? Let us see how to solve such questions. The first one is sum of two positive numbers is 12. So the numbers you could take as a and b, a plus b equals to 12, then you can write a equals to 12 minus b, so you get two numbers, right? I prefer to use one variable in all these questions. When we say sum of two positive numbers is 12, then the numbers are x and 12 minus x, right? So that is a better combination. You know, their sum is 12. So that is a preferred method. Now the second statement is, if product of one number by cube of the other is to be maximum. So we are looking for maximum product. So product will use P, right? Product P maximum. Now it says product of one number by cube of the other. So you have a choice. You can cube any one of them when you multiply. I will prefer to cube X. So I have 12 minus X as my first number product by x cube. Do you see that? These steps help you to simplify while you are working to optimize the question. Do you understand? So this helps find the numbers. Now when you have to find the numbers, the next step is you have to find derivative, equate it to 0, get the number which will be 3 and 9. Right? So two numbers are one is x, the other one is 12 minus x. You get the idea, right? So I hope you appreciate the strategy here. Question number two, two, express 18 as sum of two positive numbers. So that means one number is x, the other one is 18 minus x. Where the product of first by square of the other. So again, when we do product by the square of the other, let's say x square and 18 minus x. Uh, preferably, square the simpler one, right? And you need the largest that follow the same method, right? So p dash equals to 0. So that is the strategy. Question 3. Find two positive numbers with the product 200 such that the sum of one number and twice the number. So product, find two positive numbers with product of two. That means two numbers are x times y is 200. Do you understand? So if one number is x, the other number is 200 over x. You get the idea. So when you multiply them, their product is 200. So these are my two numbers. You could always start with x and y and say x, y is 200, right? And then get this equation. So now, find the two positive numbers with a product of 200 such that the sum of 1 and twice the second number is as small as possible. So we are looking sum as least, right? So you could say least sum as L. So you have to sum them up. So sum of 1, so 1 is x, plus twice the other, right? So you could do 2 times, which is 400 over x is least, right? So find the derivative, 
equated to 0, get the answer. Now, next one. Sum of a positive number and its reciprocal is a minimum, right? What is the number? So, we are looking for minimum sum of a number and its reciprocal. Reciprocal means 1 over x, correct? Now, determine what is m dash equated to 0. You get your answer as 1. And the last one here is, the sum of two numbers is k. So that means one number, as I said, will be x. The other one will be k minus x. Show that the sum of their squares is at least half k square. So sum of their squares will be, let's say sum of their squares is equals to x square plus k minus x whole square, right? That has to be minimized, correct? So equate their derivative to zero to find the sum. Okay, so that is the strategy. I hope it's absolutely clear. You can solve and then look into my solutions for at least two of them. Thank you and all the best.